And so our days are filled with glorious purpose. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Welcome, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you coming by. Before I get into the season premiere of Loki Season 2, which I'm very excited for, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel out so very much. It allows us to reach more people. It keeps me going and lets me create more stuff for you. So I truly appreciate it. All right, Loki, season two, season one, I loved. I loved season one. It is one of my favorite Marvel series by far. It, it really is. And I have a few I truly love. I love Falcon and Winter Soldier. I love WandaVision. And Loki is right there with them standing shoulder to shoulder. So what we have in store this year, I have no idea. I love where we ended it last year because there were so many possibilities of the direction they could go since time effectively got reset again. And Loki is now on his own, in a sense. So how is he going to get uh, Mobius back on board? I have no idea. So let's just get into it and find out. Yeah. Now which Kang is it? That's the question. Which Kang is running the TVA now? It's me. I don't know you. Uh. Uh. Okay. He's <laughs> listening to self help. Should be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sitting here going, uh... Yeah, I, I was like, did, did Loki just get her killed? <laughs> Thankfully, she drove away. Please tell me you know what's going on. Do you remember me? I got him. I got the intruder. Oh, uh, what? That's different. Wait, no. What? Has it always been there? The crack? It's been there as long as I can remember. I was in the past. Three? So. Loki? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, this is insane. How could he have been in the past? Because the past still had the same uh, same Kang, yeah, or it had the Kang statues that weren't there before. Now what? He disappeared right in front of me. He looked like he was in pain. Maybe Miss Minutes can locate him. Uh, Miss you Minutes just is... saw him. I did. Miss Minutes, it's not working. <laughs> Jeez. Mobius. Where is he? She's <laughs> a warrior. He's in the wrong timeline again. Or reality, whatever you want to call it. Because TVA exists outside of time, so this would be a different reality. One where Kang does not hide himself. We just need a moment to explain. Make it make sense. Oh boy. Well, your gods were a lie. Loki and Loki were saving us. You're all variants. No biggie. You are quite a marvel. I will be proud to lead with you. What? You made a difference in this war. 
Thank you for being on my team. For us. For all time. Always. Professor Rinsley, you are quite a marvel. I will be proud to lead with you. This changes nothing. We won't let the timeline branch. I'm sorry, Hunter. If we don't protect it, what on earth are you suggesting? Protect? Is that what you think we've been doing? No. With all due respect, ma'am. Absolutely. We haven't been protecting. Mm -mm. We've been destroying. There are people with lives on those branches, and we have committed atrocities every time atrocities? we've Atrocities? Yes. Take caution in your tone. Call it whatever you want. And you've made your position clear, Hunter. Oof. Oof. Tell the TVA to stop pruning. Effective immediately. <laughs> Loki! <laughs> oh, it's that always built this place. been there. That's who stole the Orions. That's who's coming back. The timekeepers are fake, but their warnings were real. Seems pretty straightforward to me. And now we're about to have to go. We need to know what happened at the end of time. Mm. They're totally going to end up having a division here. With the cloud monster life. We fought Mobius, and she kicked me through a time door. Well, and ask who won, but it was a draw. <laughs> Both kicked each other through time doors simultaneously. No, I was actively trying not to fight her. I was trying to stop her. Why would I not remember that? Because he wiped your memories. And he obviously did it more than once. Oh, so it was the past. They have to listen to us. Hey, believe me, they listen to you, okay? We heard you loud and clear. You have to explain to me exactly how did you just appear? I need a Loki who remains. We need to address the fact that you keep disappearing. Well, I don't, I don't keep disappearing. We don't have time. <laughs> You just disappeared. I know, and I can't keep looking at it because it's horrible. <laughs> I thought I didn't know that bad. I was lying. It, it's terrible. It looks like you're being born or dying or both at the same time. It's really, it's freaking me out. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Really look, pain. It's not that bad. I can handle it. How does it look? <laughs> still be kicking you through the time door into the past. That's the kind of started all this. I have no memory of having my memory wiped. Are you sure you know your guy? Yeah, it's just right up here. I have no memory of having my memory wiped. Well. Oh hey, welcome to RNA. I was waiting for him to show up. In the right place. We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Or a Boris. Or a Boris. But he calls me Opie. Uh, yeah. I call him Moby. That's like a nickname I have. Yeah. Wow. How long has it been? <laughs> How long no, has I... it been? Uh, There's no memory. Could it be three or four? Four hundred years. What? <laughs> Feels like a thousand. Oh. That's right, yeah. Hey, okay. how are the other guys doing? What other guys? What other guys? It's just a baby. <laughs> just a baby. Yeah. Ob. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, hold on, Obi. Oh, okay. The warp order is really powered by if I take a brick. <laughs> that, that's what's been happening. Wow. Time slipping. Wait, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. <laughs> it's impossible to time slip <laughs> in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. I'm having trouble reconciling that. I've been pulled through different times in the TVA. Time slipping. That. <laughs> I've been time slipping in the TVA. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. But you just saw it happen. Yeah, I'm having trouble reconciling this. <laughs> I know it looked like your friend was time slipping, but it must have been something else because I've never seen anything close to that happen before. A long time ago, he came to me complaining about time slipping. How did I not remember that? Wait, is he talking to you in the past and you're just now remembering it? Wow, that makes perfect sense. Obi, look, for the sake of argument, let's just say if it were possible to time slip in the TVA, how might it's one not. remedy? I understand that. 
But uh, <laughs> theoretically, if it were possible to time zip at the TVA, how might one remedy that? No. Wait. Yes? <laughs> I actually do have an extractor here. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love how they're playing what with time. Temple or extractor? And did you happen to discuss how to use such a thing with my friend? If you spent too long in it, that kind of temple energy will peel the skin right off you. Wait, I, what? I thought you said not too bad, and now you're talking about me getting my skin peeled off of me? <laughs> oh, not too bad compared to what Loki has to do. Why? What's Loki got to do? Violently rip myself from every thread of time and space. What? what? That means prune yourself. Well, have you heard about how if you fall into a black hole, you turn into spaghetti? No. Good. The less you know about that, the better. <laughs> <laughs> OB, this piece just came off right here. Is that important? I think. Um. We're overloading the loom. But first, Mobius, fix <laughs> Loki's time slipping. You'll go out there and launch the extractor, which will pull Loki from the time screen before I need to close the blast doors. Loki, this time to sink to the loom. If you're too late, you will be lost to time forever. And Mobius will lose all of his skin. Okay, you've got about an hour. You've got about five minutes. Wait. Did he go to the future? This cracked. You're good. Okay, I love Obi. The best. Wow. It is peeling a suit. You know, usually they're just chasing him with time sticks, and now when he needs them to. <laughs> Why are we casually walking towards the phone? Come on, come on, Loki. Now is not the time to be cautious. Side. This is beautiful, by the way. The, the visuals are just gorgeous. But. Sylvia. There you are. Did it? I want to try everything. Okay. Well, I just brought more questions and answers. <laughs> You know, there are a few shows I can watch where I say, you know what, I have no idea what's going on, or I am being kept very in the dark, and I still enjoy it. And that is this show, by by a mile. Th this episode especially kept us so in the dark with what is actually going on, but I couldn't stop watching. I could not 
even take my eyes off of it hardly for a moment because there's just something so captivating about this and it really is the fallout of the end of season one which i appreciate so much i was a little bit afraid we might get a time jump at some point <laughs> no pun intended considering you know loki is slipping through time but no i i, I thought maybe it would start at where we left off last season and then all of a sudden it jumps to further in time or something like that because a lot of series do that so happy they didn't because they are showing us the true ramifications of everything that's occurred they're showing us what happens when all these branching timelines uh get out there and aren't pruned what well, the actual structure of the tva the literal structure of the tea cannot handle it You've got TVA people who are not willing to accept that they need to stop pruning timelines. You've got people who aren't willing to accept the reality of what is occurring. And then you've got those that are kind of like Mobius and B-15. They're, they are both, or I should say people like them, they are all just trying to wrap their heads around what they've learned while still maintaining some semblance of order and just doing the right thing. That, that is Mobius's main thing right now is we need to do the right thing for everyone, but we gotta figure out what that is. And I love that, yeah, they don't have a contingency for this. They are just reacting right now. Uh, the one thing they felt like they could fix was Loki. It's like, okay, we can fix Loki. Oh wait, the loom is freaking out. Okay, we're gonna fix that too. We got two things we can fix. We can't fix everything else yet, though. And that makes sense. It's, you, you weren't prepared for this. They weren't prepared for... <laughs> they weren't prepared for the entirety of their existence to be questioned and fall apart right in front of them. Now, this does beg the question, is there a Kang? We know there are. We know there are just because of the other uh, movies and such. However... Is there another Kang that is watching all this happen? We now know. At the beginning, I thought he had gone to the future, or I, actually, more appropriately, I thought he'd gone to a different timeline, to or a different reality where the TVA had been restarted, and Kang had basically put himself in power and not hid himself this time. He hadn't hid himself behind those false gods. He, and now... They are godless. They have no he who remains. They have no false gods. They are kind of on their own. And it makes me wonder which Kang. Because one of them will, one, one will definitely think about this. One will definitely seek them out. But which one's it going to be? Who's going to come for them? Because I have this feeling they will be considered a very big threat to Kang in any of his mechanizations or mechanizations I should say not mechanizations he he will definitely they I should say they because we saw the council of kings in Ant-Man so they are not going to be thrilled that there is this other power out there are they going to be looking for them are they aware they exist and what happens when they do find out I I genuinely think they're either going to want to destroy it or co-opt it, take it over. They'll want to lead it. Neither scenario is great. There is no scenario that is good for the TVA right now when it comes to Kang. So, who? There is a lot to come yet. And we still don't know who pruned Loki. It, it didn't look like it was Sylvia. It looked like it came from behind. So, who pruned Loki? Was it a gesture of, you know, assistance? Of goodwill? Or was this... Someone actually just trying to prune Loki. Maybe they were going to prune Sylvie right after that happened. We don't know yet. There are so many questions and no answers. I love it. I just love it. I'm so here for this. I was laughing so hard at some of this. OB, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. What a great character. What a fantastic character. I cannot wait to see more of him. Oh, all right. What are your theories? Leave them in the comments below. I don't even know where to start right now, but maybe you do. Are you thrilled to see the show return? Do you think Mobius is going to be on a jet ski before into this series? I think he has to at this point. And do you think he who remains or whoever his replacement will be 
will show up sooner rather than later. What do you think the Kangs are going to do? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like I said up top, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.